true pigeon man will never give it up to the day that he dies. And that's the God's honest truth. We will not give it up. Even if it's one bird in a box in the corner somewhere. As long as he got one bird, and that's the bird that he loves, and he, you know, he's content with that. My name is uh, Two Tone. I'm from East New York. I've been flying birds since I was about three, three and a half years old. The pigeon thing, I think, is, is, is just being on the roof, you know? Taking in the, the scenery and, you know, just being able to see everything. It's like an outlook on life itself, if you look at it. And everybody's passing by and you see, you see so much stuff. It's crazy, you know? It could be a, it could be an accident on the corner, even though it's bad, but it's something that's going on in life. The name of the game basically is like, you know, trying to get the next man's birds or get the stray pigeons that are flying around. I'm over here on Rockaway, in Atlantic. And I send them, I'm trying to send them to St. Mark's and uh, Saratoga Avenue and trying to get some birds from my man Trey over there and to see if they'll come back. And if they do, then you have a true pigeon that'll never, never break your heart. You know what I mean? That's what I look for. I look for intelligent birds. I look for the smartest bird that's gonna come back, is gonna go past there, it's gonna go downtown Brooklyn, it's gonna go in Bushwick, it's gonna go uh, wherever, wherever I send it, Queens, wherever, and it's gonna come back. Okay, the, this one, this is a apple dun. They call it apple dun. This is a dun. They call it apple dun. This got a nice face. It's got a trigger tail. It's got a couple white feathers, but that's nothing. I used to tag around the handball court Super 13 when I was young. And um, I've been flying birds since I was a kid. With my father, I used to have roosters. They used to fight rooster fight. You know, but now it's illegal. Here's no, you can't do it. That's illegal. And then I stood with the pigeons. Yep, we got another bird here. They call it the torpedo. Let me see if I find her. If I see her around, maybe she's on the other side. Okay, let me catch this pencil face. If I could get it, grab her. This is a pencil face, really. This is a strange bird. They call this bird Polish high flyers. This bird is from Poland. This is a strange bird. This bird, they rear these birds. They're hard to breathe. They breathe less. Not too many birds they breathe, these birds. Maybe two babies, that's it. They don't, they don't breathe too much. And my real job is I'm an exterminator. I'm a bug man. Kill roaches, rats, bugs, you know. Those bugs, they, they, they don't go to bugs. They suck blood, they give disease. I'm an exterminator. But I, most of the time I'm here with the pigeons, with the birds. Yeah, this is the hobby, it's nice and quiet here. Yeah. yeah, I used to have canaries, cockatoos. Parakeets, all kind of birds. And dogs too. I had a lot of dogs. I love the animals. I'm an animal freak. Cats, I like them too, but not too much. But the birds, I love birds. There's something about the birds, I don't know. I'm used to it all my life. Okay. I want to see if I can put these pigeons to sleep. I haven't done it for a while. But, uh,. I used to do this when I was younger. You know, I'm not harming the pigeon. I have dogs. I'm not too crazy about the cats, but I have respect for them too. But I like animals. There you go. I'm still good, huh? Whoever sees this video thinks that the neck is off. And it's not, it's not doing no harm to nothing. I got my name because the street where I used to live at was named Goodwin Place. That's how they started to call me, the guys, the pigeon flies. 
Oh, that's Goodwin's birds. Those are Goodwin's birds. And that's how I got that name. I started with the pigeons out six years old in the backyard because my father and mother they didn't want me up on the roof. She was always dreaming, my mother, oh, he fell off the roof. I don't want him up there. The more you fly the pigeons, the smarter they get. The more you fly them, you got to teach them the sky. Because this is how the homing pigeon works. The earth has the madness. And they go by that, the homing pigeon. That's how he looks. You could throw him, we threw a bird out from Virginia. He was back here in, in no time. The best ones don't give in. They look for home. Because why? They got food, water, and they like the coop. When I died, uh, my kids know that when they're putting me down in the grave, they're gonna, uh, they're gonna let out birds. They're gonna let out pigeons. They always, the Bible always talks about a white pigeon. Noah let the pigeon out and he came back with, with some grass on the beak, carrying grass back. That, that showed Noah that uh, there was dry land. That's a peaceful bird. That's why God uses that as, as, as perfection. told me a lot, as in like the pigeons and stuff. You know? He taught me how to keep them, how to feed them, how to maintain them. It's hard to describe when, you know, you don't go, you don't, you're not born into that life. It's like a religion, you understand? If you're born in a religion, it's, it's kind of hard to explain that to a person that's outside of your religion. This is like my religion. And I'm sure if you ask the other pigeon guys, they'll tell you the same, if not something similar to that. <laughs> 